Hey Pa, you know it's the uh, only day of the year where you actually upload videos. What? It's Pi Day. Pi Day? You know, Pi, Pi I. It's Pi Day, Pi Day. Gotta get Fuck down, it's Pi Day. Oh. He deserved that. Pie review. Now this is a shepherd's pie. It's a good pie. You can never go wrong with a good steak and kidney. Who says it's a crime to put Stilton on a pie? <clears throat> Pineapple deserves to be on a pie. The reason why pie is called pie is because it's a circle and circles are food. The reason why pie is called pie is because you say rock, paper, scissors, but if you start with the paper and take the P, right, and then you go to the scissors and take the I, and then you take nothing from the rock, you've got pi. I am out of ideas for content. Can you tell? So, I thought I might talk to you, since it's Pi Day, about where I first got interested in the number pi. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was for the same pun which my YouTube is set up, my YouTube channel is set about. So um this dusty old machine, some of you may recognise, is a Raspberry Pi. This is the original model. We got it the day that it was announced actually. Um we ordered it and um it took a few months and it came uh, because we pre-ordered it on the one website which hadn't crashed yet. So I thought you might guys, you guys might find that pretty cool. A, a, a view it a very dusty old Raspberry Pi. Um, on the theme of old technology, here's a Tesco's Huddle. Um, I've not been able to charge this for about two years. So yeah, that's not so great. Um, also, here's my toothbrush. It's electric. It goes buzz. Pretty cool. Um. This is a lava lamp. I don't know if you guys still remember that these exist. It's uh, it's not on. Um, didn't really think about it in time, but <laughs> it doesn't. Um, hmm. I think that might be broken too. Um, yeah, I think that's about everything that that's interesting about me. Nice. Guys, and welcome back to another Q&A. Let's have a look at all the questions you guys gave me for this week's Q&A. Let's head over to it. Professional. And the first question is from... Um... <clears throat> and that's all we have time for! So uh, tune in next week where I eat a bowl of tuna. I'm so out of ideas. <sighs> so since this is an intellectual day for intellectuals, I thought we could do some Mensa puzzles, because, you know, everyone can do them. Um, I'm trying to find one which I can uh, read out loud now. Um, right, okay. So, have a look at this then. We've got some balance things and we've got to work out what the question mark is. I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one? Well, the answer was, there was actually someone on the plane who pushed him off. Um, if you guys don't get my reference there, it's to uh, the bright side riddles. Because, you know, they're just dumb. So, this year I was asked to review some pie memes. Some good pie memes. I found them all. Um, I'll pull them up. There's, uh, none. No, there, there aren't any good pie memes. Thanks for watching. Okay, so guys, um, I, I'm a magician, right? And, okay, I'm not supposed to record my magic tricks because otherwise you can see them and it makes them more obvious. But I've got this really great one to show you guys. This is one which you can use at parties and things like that. And, you know, it will get you all the girls. Like, at once, they will all come and kiss you straight afterwards. Although they won't be able to because this trick makes you disappear. Now, isn't that cool? Isn't that so helpful? So what you do is you think, okay guys, I'm going to disappear. Now this has got to be in a crowded room. Or, well, it doesn't have to be. You just have to be very good at this. And you have to say, okay guys, I'm going to do a magic trick. I'm going to disappear. Oh look, where's he gone? Um. Now, I've got to say, the police have worked this out quite well. That's why I've not been uploading recently. Hi, my name is Pi Ipe, and I'm an overnight YouTube sensation. I was asked by this charity do um, to help all those people in the world who don't know what the glorious number of pi is when you're trying to find the area of a circle. You can use it by multiplying pi by the radius, by the radius of the circle. So pi times the radius times the radius gives you the area. Now, isn't that just fascinating? But such a bizarre number helps you out so much. And my heart goes out to the people who don't understand that. And my heart comes back when those people really don't care because it doesn't really make a difference to their lives and that is fair enough so guys please donate because i need money i need a lot of money i mean a lot of money okay so, another cool thing about pi is it starts with the letters P-I. Now, what else starts with the letters P-I? The word peace. Now, what is peace often used for? A piece of something. So, uh, you could say a piece of pi, or you could have a piece of cake, or you could have a piece of music. Now, what I have in my hands is a clever contraption which has been around for quite a long time. So, let's have a look at it. What it does is it plays music. So let's... Let's have a listen to this piece. What a banger! Okay, so... This video was terrible. There's honestly no need to tell me. Um, so like and subscribe, because you know, it can only get better from here.